I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Nah, that's a little wayward. Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Let's have a look at this highlight. Always enjoy watching Ian pull to play well. Here's a great shot. Oh, that's lovely touch. The hands of a surgeon. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, that impressed me and her. She's got this to save par here. It was on a good line. Putting for bogey. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Well, this should find the short grass. Second shot here on the 14th hole. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. That's tiny. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Yeah, we'll take that. How about this effort from JT just a little while ago? Simply amazing what he does from here. Those always come in handy. Completely unexpected, but welcome nonetheless. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 15th. Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Putting for par. You know what they say, never up, never in. That one's come up short. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Never quite hit that. And this next putt is for triple bogey. And the putt drops now at eight under, heading down the stretch. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Leading by six strokes after that one. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. I like the look of this. You just keep building a bigger advantage. Well played.
Johnny Mack, what's the news? I'm over on the 17th now, guys. This is Tony Finau's next shot. This would be a good putt to make. It'll move you inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. That's outstanding. What a putt. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, well played. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Looks to have chosen the 7 iron. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. This one has eyes for the hole. She's got a par putt here. Let's see if she can make it. And that putt will drop. Well done. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. That's heading for the fairway. This shot here from about 240 yards. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. This putt coming up is for birdie. Well, in it goes, and this just continues this player's dominance. Oh, what a performance all week long, Luke. Well-deserved, hard-earned victory for this player. Great job. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>